Hi guys, welcome to Hungry Pecker Brewing. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I just have my iPad rigged up, um, pointed directly at the monitor of my computer, and I'm just recording off of that for today's video. I've already done um, a couple other videos about harvesting yeast out of a conical fermenter and storing that yeast to recycle into your next batch. Um, so today I want to do a short video that's geared towards uh, the newer home brewer who is either um, interested in making a starter or has already started making starters and you want to learn a little bit more about it and expand your knowledge on that. Now there's so many great videos on how to make a starter and it's pretty simple so we're not going to do a video on how to make a starter. I'm sure you guys are already doing it anyways and you're doing just fine at it. But have you thought about how many cells do you actually have in your starter and have you thought about your pitch rate um, how many cells do you need to pitch into your specific volume of um, your batch that you made so you want to have a healthy fermentation and there is a certain number of cells that you need to pitch into that batch so you can go to the Hungry Pecker Brewing Facebook page check out my other two videos on harvesting yeast and you can click on the page that I'm about to show you right now which is Captain Brew Beta. I have a link to these calculators on my Hungry Pecker Brewing Facebook page. These guys have some great calculators. Okay, go up here to other calculators pick pitching rate. I'm going to scroll down here. I usually just do this on my iPad but I want to record this for you guys. And this is what I came up with. Okay, so you're going to go over here, you're going to pick your pitching rate. Um, most of you guys will probably just be fine with the ale. I'm going to choose the ale high gravity and punch in the size of your batch. So I'm going to put 33 gallons into my fermenter and then punch in your gravity. So I'm shooting for 108. This is actually going to be the biggest beer that we've made click go so that's going to tell you I need three this is measured in billions so I need three trillion one hundred and eighty six billion viable cells to have a healthy fermentation at that pitch rate and in my 33 gallon batch of 1.108 original gravity okay so let's make a starter um, so we can get those cells okay so right here you're going to punch in some information about um, the cells that you're starting with whether you have a vial or I don't know if anybody's doing dry yeast um, pack starters but I really like the Y yeast smack packs and they tell you right on the package 100 billion cell count now that is dependent on the date of production that's on the day of production so uh, as time goes on that number goes down so you guys start out with a smack pack I'm actually um, because I want to grow that many cells in three steps. I actually need to start out with more smack packs. Um, so I bought three, or I'm buying three. I don't actually have them yet. I'm waiting for them to come in. I'm going to go pick them up at the uh, Elk Grove Brewmeister. So I would potentially have 300 billion cells on day of production, but look, I'm just going to guess you know, that um, the production date was around the first of the month. So I'm going to click go. And that's going to tell me there um, if the first of the month was the production date, it's only 84%, 84.4% viable. So instead of 300 billion cells, I'm really, it's more accurate that I'm starting out with 253.2 billion. Okay, so that's how many we're going to put into our starter. And we're going to go down here to our first starter. So, um, if you guys are using a uh, stir plate, you need to uh, click on stir plate, or if you're shaking for your method of aeration, click, aeration, click on uh, shaking. So I'm picking White's uh, growth model. I don't know that that's any better than the others. That's just the one I've always used. So I'm going to put my starter on a stir plate. You're going to punch in the volume of your starter. I'm going to start off with a 4 liter starter here kind of have to go big on this one because I have a lot of cells to grow. And the gravity of my starter, so I'm going to calculate that. OK, 
Okay, so what this is telling me, it remembers this number right here. That from my three smack packs of 253.2 billion, I'm going to put those on the stir plate and in the incubator, um, I'm going to grow that to 726 billion. Okay, so we're getting closer, but still pretty far away from what we need to pitch into our batch, the 3 trillion and something. So at this point, that first starter is made. We're going to uh, put it in the cooler or the refrigerator, freezer, whatever you got, uh, to cold crash. We're going to let all those cells precipitate out of suspension to the bottom of our flask. Um, you want to leave it in there for you know at least two or three days. The longer, maybe a little bit better, so it can compact more, and you can really let all those cells fall out of suspension. But um, you know, a couple three days should be pretty good. So then we're going to take that out and we're going to decant the liquid off the top and then we're going to have that much left in the bottom of our flask and we're going to let that warm up to room temperature and get ready to make another starter to pour onto it. And again, I'm not going to make a video on how to make the starter. Um, I just want to concentrate on the calculations here. So we warm that up to room temperature. We whipped up another batch of starter and we're pouring it on that yeast that we already grew. This time I'm going to do a 4.5 liter starter and see what we got here. Okay, getting closer, at least we're in the trillions now. 1 trillion 608. Still got quite a ways to go. Okay, so same thing. That just came out of the incubator, put it in the fridge, let it cold crash, decant the liquid off the top, whip up another starter, and do it again. I'm going to go five this time. So that's what I have and I can tell it I've got quite a ways to go here. So we might not we might not get there with this step. We might have to do another step. Okay, we did. Okay, so starting out sorry, I keep scrolling down there. Just the iPad's in my way of seeing the screen. So starting out with our 253 billion from our smack packs. We need this number, right, that we calculated for our batch. We need 3 trillion 186 billion. We're starting out with these smack packs that have that many. We're doing a starter. Our first starter is going to give us that much. Our second starter on the same yeast is going to bud and grow to that amount. And then finally, after our third starter, we're going to have enough cells. See how it turns green there? That means you got enough. Now, those first two steps, you know, are going to be uh, ahead of time, like several days, like maybe uh, at least a week or so before my brew day. And then I will probably, after the second step, I'm just going to let it sit in my fridge and really just uh, compact until the day before my brew day. I usually do my starters 24 hours ahead of time. I would like to uh, get that number down to maybe like 12 hours before I pitch. But right now I'm doing my starter about 24 hours before I pitch. Um, so that's going to be this one right here. I'm going to uh, pull this one out of the fridge the day before I brew and um, add this starter onto it right here. And then this third step will actually get pitched the whole 5 liter volume into my 33 gallon, gallon batch. Now, um, depending on what kind of beer you're making, like with something really light, you know, I don't know, you might not want to pour all of your uh, dried malt extract starter into your ale that you made. So you might want to decant that off and just uh, pour the yeast slurry. Um, but we could talk about that another day. And of course, here's your uh, dried malt extract calculator for when you're making these starters. Um, you know how much uh, DME to stir in. So like for this uh, first step right here that I'm doing, the 4 liter volume, I'm going to weigh out my DME, right? So 4 liter starter, I'm going to weigh out, you know, the 14, almost 15 ounces of DME to uh, stir into that starter. And that's what's going to get poured on these cells here. You know, and so I'm gonna re I'm gonna recalculate that for each step. The next one will be 4.5. I'm gonna need more DME. 
right? It's over 16 ounces that I need, okay? And then uh, pull that out the day before I brew and whip up one last starter here for my five liter starter that's going to get pitched right in on brew day. And that last starter is going to be 18 ounces. So a lot of DME here. Uh, this is a bigger batch of way higher gravity than I usually do. Um, I usually don't need that many cells. I usually need, uh, you know, like one and a half trillion somewhere right in there. So anyways, guys, I hope that uh, video was helpful. This is just something I dug up and I've been using. If anybody has any uh, comments or anything, um, feel free to go on Hungry Pecker Brewing uh, Facebook page and send me a message, and uh, I'll get right back with you. If you got any questions, hit me up on there. I'll, uh, I'll send you a message and uh, give you my number or whatever. Love to uh, chat and talk shop because uh, I'm learning here myself. So if anybody has any tips for me on these calculations, I'd appreciate it. Okay, that's it. See you next time. Thank you. Bye.